Mother's Day, Mrs. Price. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Did Norman make a fuss of you this morning? Oh, <laughs> no. I think my little cherub must still be in bed. But you should be the one in bed. Yeah. Norman should be making you breakfast. Oh, no. Not Mother's Day again. <gasps> <laughs> Surprise! Happy Mother's Day! Oh, Norman! You are a treasure! No, he's not! All he gave you was a box of cereal! And you better get back to your own, ma'am! And you're supposed to be cooking her eggs! So, <laughs> any more treats in store for your mum today, Norman? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I'm going skateboarding. Bye! I'm sorry, Sam. I'm afraid it was a false alarm. Mandy was making breakfast for Helen this morning. And Dad was helping. He's the one who burned the toast. I didn't burn it. I just forgot that it was toasting, that's all. Care for some fresh toast now that you're here? I won't burn it. I promise. No thanks, Mike. We'd best get back to the station in case there's a real emergency. <laughs> Fancy a bit of skateboarding today? Sorry, Norman, but I'm spending the day with my mum. It's Mother's Day. Did you do something nice for your mum this morning? Yep. <laughs> I gave her a box of cereal. Norman, she'll think you don't care about her. Mandy made me this lovely letter holder in school. I was making one of those, only I couldn't be bothered to finish it. I could help you finish it now, if you like, Norman. Um, no thanks, Mike. It wasn't very good anyway. Or I could help you make something else for your mum in the workshop. Oh, but what about skateboarding? I don't really think of your mum as the skateboarding type. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day special tonight, Trevor. You should come along. <laughs> nice idea, Charlie, but my mother is 72 years old and lives abroad. I don't think she could get here in time for dinner tonight. Or you could make a coat rack to put on the wall. No, thanks. Would your mum like a footstool? No. Can't I just make something easy? Oh, I know. Can I use this? OK, but what for? What a triumph, Bronwyn. Ah, now to find young James and my metal detector. See you soon, Station Officer Steele. With fish and chips this good. You can be sure of that. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Elvis? Positive. My savings box is full of coins. Station Officer Steele will think he's hit the jackpot when he digs them up. But they aren't old coins. No, but they are precious, because they are Elvis's coins. <sighs> Where is that skellywag? What? James? James! Where are you? James, uh, uh, are you trapped behind those rocks? Ooh, well, stay calm, James. I've got to call Fireman Sam. I'll need help to get you out of there. The rock slide on the beach has trapped James Jones. Station Officer Steele is at the scene. James Jones is trapped under a rock fall on the beach. We'll need to take radar, Penny. We better go wrong with This 
is a good place to bury my coins. Station Officer Steel will definitely find them here. Oh, sounds like Jupiter. I wonder what's up. James! Radar's sensitive nose will locate exactly where James is stuck, so we can get him out without disturbing the rocks around him. Good boy! Are you okay, James? Uh, yeah, not a scratch. Nothing hit me. I'm just trapped behind these rocks. Look at the top of the tower, Sam! 
It's Norman Price! What's he doing up there? Hey! Elvis, you keep the fire at bay. Penny, stabilize Jupiter and raise the ladder. <laughs> Seek more important than your own safety, Norman Price. No, Station Officer Steele. We really should have thought before we hid. Oh, uh, but I'm now officially the best hider in Pandy Pandy. Well, I suggest you go and hide at home for a while, yes? Yes. You can celebrate by eating the cold, bready fish bites you should have had two hours ago. Eh, okay, ma'am. <sighs> What's up, Elvis? Yeah, we did a great job. But poor Dolly. She didn't make it. Actually, Norman wasn't the only person I carried from the towering inferno. Look behind you. Tom, I think your radiator might be overheating. If I were you, I'd turn back. No. Oh, nonsense. There's nothing wrong with the radiator. Besides, you don't need to go up so high to see peregrines. The one I saw the other day was at the bottom of the valley. No, the place to find peregrines is in the hills. Come on, kids. All aboard. It's so hot in here. Why haven't you opened the window? Uh, I was a bit worried about letting the air in, just in case it started a fire. Don't be daft, Elvis. Open it. <laughs> now you've let a fly in instead. Oi! Get off my lemonade! <laughs> Allow me, sir. Elvis! Oh, sorry. It was an accident. Oh! Look! There's one! Ha! I saw it first! That's not a peregrine. It's a seagull. I know what a seagull looks like. That was a peregrine. Let me see. It's my turn with the binoculars, Sarah. No, it's not! Oh! We'll never see one here. We need to go higher up. But that peregrine was flying down to the valley, just like Tom said. It was a seagull, Norman. Come on, back in the bus, everyone. Why does Trevor always think he knows best? Oh, it's ever so hot in here. Why can't we open the windows? Because the air conditioning won't work if the windows are open. It's not working anyway. That's the problem. There's nothing wrong with the air conditioning. Then why is the arrow pointing to the red bit on the temperature gauge? Oh, look! Smoke! Oh, oh, oh no! Everybody out! Now! Keep well back. I'm just going to investigate. Don't open the bonnet, you let the air in! I know what I'm doing. Oh no! Oh, 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 Trevor! Call fireman! Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah! I said pull, not push! Oh, oh. My legs! They're stuck! Oh no! It's no good! I'm trapped! 
see what was inside, and it toppled on me. But you knew they could be dangerous. Dad said. I know. It's my fault. I kind of made him. Well, whatever. What's important now is we get it off him. <laughs> it's no good. It won't budge. Um, listen, everyone. as fast as we can. And can you ask Penny to keep an eye out for them, sir? Yeah. I say it was a quiet day. It's okay, James. We'll soon have you out. Sarah, I want you to go back to the cafe with Mandy. Sarah, I'm sorry I said you weren't fun. I'll play with you next time. I promise. What do you think it is, Sam? I really don't know. So I want to do this quickly. We'll have to leave the crate off James as gently as we can. Any good, James? I'll reverse the bus back onto the road and we'll get off to school, eh? Service to Mountain Rescue. We're going to need your assistance, Tom. Be quick. Elvis, attach a line. Stand back, everyone. Easy does. 
does it. Sam, hurry! The glitch stopped the trouble. I'm on it, Joe. See? I told you it was faulty. Can I have my ball back now? There's nothing wrong with that fire alarm, Norman, and you know it. You set it off deliberately. <gasps> no, I didn't. Do you know the story of the boy who cried wolf? No. Why? It's about a boy who kept pretending he'd seen a wolf. He'd cry, help, wolf, and all the villagers would come running. The boy would laugh and say, see, I tricked you. <gasps> then what happened? One day, a real wolf came, and the boy cried out, help, wolf. But this time, Nobody believed him, so they didn't come. And did the wolf eat him up? So they say. I still didn't do it. <sighs> OK, we better get back to the station. See you later, Dillis. Norman, where do you think you are going? You are grounded. Go to your room. Gorgeous. Um, oi! Shoo! Off with you! Oh, Charlie! I was trying to make friends. I might have known. Price is the limit. Oops. Sorry, Charlie. I didn't mean to do that. It flew out of my hand. Good thing you missed, or I could have ended up in a rather sticky situation. No, oh, <laughs> sticky situation. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm a roly poly spider. I'm a roller coaster driver. I need some proper glue. Strong stuff. <laughs> Super sticky glue! Um, uh, sticks anything lasts forever. Cool. This is what I need. I don't think you should use this stuff, Norman. There's a warning on the back. If you get it on your hand, you can get stuck to anything. Uh, what did you give me a model airplane for if you didn't want me to make it? Why don't you just leave it to me and I can show it to you when it's finished? Fine. Ice tea, anyone? Oh, lovely. What a good idea. It was Sam's idea, actually. He's the brains, and I'm just the beauty. <laughs> ah! oh! uh, uh. Very refreshing, Elvis. I must say, I'm rather surprised we haven't had more call-outs in this hot weather, Sam. The sun's rays are frightfully strong. They certainly are. There we go. Nearly finished, and I haven't got any glue on my fingers either. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, Mom! 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 <laughs> oh! oh! Stupid glue!
I brought you some lunch. Dummy? Dummy? Dummy! Where are you? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> under the wheels this morning. I can't understand what could have happened to them. Ready, steady, go! with a bad leg. I hope I'm not too late for lunch. Oh, actually, sir, you're a little early. Oh. Lunch is running a bit late. Oh, yes. oh. Call me when it's ready. a dinosaur. There was. They're just very good at hiding, that's all. <gasps> James! What? The water! We're trapped! Ah! Yes, I saw them a couple of hours ago. I think they were heading to the beach. Well, they're not back. And the tide's in. And I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Missing? Don't you? James, Sarah, and Norman are all missing. They are seen on the beach. Alert Mountain Rescue, sir. Tom can search from the air. Penny and I will search from the water. Come on. 
a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way for violence and crime 